Hello, Brent Ferris here from the Bearded Man Studios. I'm going to show, I'm going to go back a little bit. We've been doing some advanced stuff, but let's go back and do some basic stuff. Uh, we are going to go into um, making a health bar, which will make a few scripts that are pretty simply put, and uh, or maybe just one script. So let's start off by making our health bar texture. Let's open up paint. Uh, we have a 2x2 two two square here. If you don't believe me, hit resize, go to pixels, 2x2. Two two. Now let's save this out, save as, PNG, square, I'm going to save it to the desktop. Yes, replace the one I have. And now I'm going to go to the desktop and drag the square into my project set, uh, my project pane. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the game objects and I'm going to create a capsule. This capsule is going to represent our player. And since this capsule represents our player, I'm going to put a player tag on him. Um, yes so let's go ahead and start coding our stuff so let's go to create C sharp script call it health bar or let's just call it player health because we're just gonna make it one script as opposed to two and open that guy up uh, let's just close without saving alright so here I'm going to add a couple variables. First I'm going to make a public float health is equal to 100. Now I'm going to do a public float texture hmm, not public to float texture, sorry. Public texture 2D. Um, I'm just going to call this img health for image, or img bar, yeah image bar is null. Do a um, Uh, yeah, I don't need to do that. I was going to make a reference to the player, but we're going to put this on the player. Why would we need to make a reference to the player on it? Let's make our damage function. So do public void damage player and pass in a float uh, damage. And in here, just do health. Uh, my IntelliSense is not updating. Uh, minus equals damage. There we go. So now we have that basic stuff set up. Um, and we're ready to start getting our, uh, our drawing of our health bar up. So sometimes we don't want our health bar to be super tiny. And we don't want it to be exactly 100 pixels, the size of our health here. So let's create a float to modify the size by an uh, arbitrary number. So let's do public float modify size equals uh, 8.5, not 85, 8.5, something like that. And now let's make a public rect, let's just call it position, equals new rect, 15, 15, 100, and 25. That's good enough. Now we can go ahead and go into our, our drawing of our GUI. So do a private void on GUI. Um, also, before I do that, I want to add something up here to the top. I want to add execute in edit mode. This will allow me to see my UI stuff without having to play the game, which I like to do that because I don't want to have to play the game to see my stuff and then stop playing to modify it. So we're going to just turn on accident, uh, execute in edit mode. And now down in our on, on uh, GUI, let's first make sure that our image bar is not null. So if img bar is not equal to null, then we're going to go ahead and draw it. Um, so, uh, before we do that, I also want to make sure our health never goes negative. So let's do a uh, private void update. If health is less than zero, health equals zero. And we can also use that check to kill our player or whatever you want to do, but this is just about the image bar um, this time around. So what we want to do is we want to change the width of our rectangle that's going to be drawing. Uh, so let's do position dot width is equal to health multiplied by modify size. And now let's just do GUI dot draw texture position and image bar. Now let's jump back over into our scene. So let's click our player drag the player health onto him and let's drag our square onto our image bar. 
you could see that we now have an image bar that I, I just knew 8.5 would fill up uh, this nicely, um, even uh, though it's not perfect. But you can see if I change this, this modify health number, it changes the full size of the bar on the screen. So I can set that to, let's do like 8.75, no, that's too much, 8.6, yeah, that looks good. And now you can see if your health goes down, the bar goes down, and when it reaches zero, it's uh, your health goes to zero. And you can see I'm dragging to the left, but I can't go less than zero now that we put that update. So uh, I can drag it back to the right, um, and it can go a little bit large, so let's fix that as well. Let's go in here and say, else if health is greater than let's make a uh, private float con or private const float max health is equal to 100 so let's put it here health is equal to max health and just for fun let's do a private void start function and set our health equal to our max health just in case it's not. So now I'm going to try to go down. I can't go less than zero, as you can see. And now I'm going to go up, but I can't go more than 100. So there we go. We have a health bar. And we can damage this player's health. Uh, we can also change the position, by the way, and stuff like that. But to, uh, to damage this player, we would call this damage player function. So let's pretend we're in a different script right now. We're not in this one. From the other script, we would do something like game object dot find game object with tag player dot get component, and then we would pass in the name of uh, this script, which is player health. Uh, that is, we would pl pass in the player health script, and we'd call damage player, and we can pass in a number there. So from the other script, since we put our player, here's our player, since we put this player tag onto our player, we can just say game object dot find game object with tag player, find the script and damage the player. And this will damage his health from any script. So uh, there you go. Uh, I hope you liked it. This was a nice, uh, a nice easier thing um, than some of the other, you know, artificial intelligence stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps you out, and I hope she gives you uh, helps gives you perspective on other things to do. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.